hello YouTube. Captain Dave Sport Fishing, Jacksonville, Florida. In the Jetty Wolf hauler. I'm going to the boat ramp. I mean, that was that was a little much for a tropical storm. I can tell you that. Now it's gonna slam into South Carolina. And it re-emerged as a hurricane. I'm going to the boat ramp just to see what it ends up looking like. Oh yeah. See the water right here? It's right on the side of the road. That's usually got 150 feet of beach. And just think, we haven't even, we never even got hit by a hurricane. Look at that right there usually has a hundred and something feet. Yeah. Some cop has to sit there watching this. Here's the Coast Guard station. There's where the shrimp store is, right over yonder. The old shrimp store. Yep, look at the debris. Lots of debris, and you don't want to drive through that debris because it's probably full of nails. So, but yeah, you can't put your boat in at um, at high tide unless you want to put your truck underwater. Oh yeah, look at this. That's the ramp that I usually use right here. And it's got a telephone pole laying right in front of it. So, yeah. <clears throat> you might be able to put a boat in the water here at low tide. Yeah, look at that. Telephone pole. I usually back down right here in front of the truck. That's the only dock that you can get to. Right there. And this one here, you gotta go waiting. Alright, if you can hear me over the wind, you, at high tide, you can't get to the dock. You don't have to get a direct hit by any means to, uh, be severely, severely inconvenienced by all that goes on. This is normally where I put in, right here. I put my boat in right there. You've seen me a million times before. And the problem is there's a, a log in the way. And my boat would be floating right here. Wow. Yep. Definitely not good. Well, at low tide, I wonder if it's a, it's a whole different story. Alrighty, folks. Here I am at the boat ramp before sun up the next day. This is Saturday at about 6 a.m. And I'm going to try to show you the difference in tides just having a storm like that offshore okay I know it's gonna to be tough to see I can't do anything by the time it's light I'm driving away in the boat but all this was completely underwater yesterday when you saw me pointing a camera in my truck if you remember this log this log was at the water level right here the ramp is way down there so this is what we've got to deal with now the entire boat ramp is just covered in sand and of course they'll come in here with a front end loader or whatever in about I don't know July we're always the seriously forgotten down here because we're in one of those luxury items you know so we got all this debris total sand everywhere 
but there's my truck right up there and I've seen the water all up there we got this fish cleaning table pavilion now it's only about 40 years overdue if we catch a bull red or something I'll turn on the camera and a buoy It's Carnival LA Elation. That's not a very big boat. That is not a very big boat. Alright folks, I'm gonna show you the strength of what was going on out here. And we didn't even get hit by a hurricane. See that red buoy? That's a red buoy. It's supposed to be uh, a thousand yards on the other side of this inlet. And guess where it is? It's sitting right over here next to the green buoy. So you got the, the red buoy coming in the jetties has now moved a thousand yards from where it's supposed to be. So I'd say it was pretty powerful out here. The Coasties need to bring the buoy tender out here and fix this. Where do they go? They're snatching that buoy. They're gonna snatch that buoy out of the water. So did you learn anything today? Yes. Yes? What'd you learn? I learned um, that it's not all about um, like which side you're on, it's about technique. <laughs> what side you're on? See, because you gotta remember. Well, how old are you? If you're 10 or under, the fishing's always better 10 feet from where you're standing. That's the general rule. That's what Dr. Phil, me, that's what I've always noticed. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. If you're 10 or under, now once you get to be like 12, 13, you'll realize that guess what? Where I'm at is a good spot. Where dad's at, that's that's a good spot yeah. for him. But it's a it's literally from the generally, right. it's 10, 10, 10 or under, 10 feet away. The fishing is so much better right, right. than where I'm at. It's the worst spot. So, so what'd you catch? How many did you catch? Um, 10. 10? He caught 10 and he's 10. No, one, yeah, you got one for every year. Now, unfortunately, because after the hurricane, it was kitty cats mm. galore, yep. but we did have a giant croaker, and I'll put the picture in in the video or something right here. Oh yeah, and we caught uh, a spot, which is kind of, we don't catch that many spots. We caught some croakers. Uh, what else did we Shark, get? right? Caught, oh, a bonnet head shark, and lots of the kitty cats. Yeah. Lots and lots. Which is fine. And the parking lot isn't flooded. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Alrighty, we're gonna end this with that. See ya next week with Traveler Bob.